Hi hey guys, this is another video of mine. As I, as you know, I'm under Gebe, and this is Banjo Tooie, the second game in the series. Um, I'll skip through this video here so you can see more of the gameplay. As if you want to watch the video, you just watch a trailer, and it will show the starting video and that. Um, you basically start with all the moves that you do at the end of the first game so you get a lot more game or controls to start with as you can see you can run on the back of Kazooie which is really good and means you can run a lot faster and get up steep hills and you can do some of his attacks like shoot uh, eggs at people and even fly which is pretty cool at certain points of the game um just to fill you in, the witch from the first game had died, and basically, I think this guy's trying to resurrect her. So, if you were playing the first one, probably not a good idea to watch this until you've completed it, or else it'll spoil it. I was a bit silly, I still haven't completed the first one, I bought both games because they were on sale, so I thought, oh, might as well. It's still the same kind of idea as the first one. It's a really good game. Another incredible classic N64 game as well. I'm pretty sure there's a mini game section on this, which is more than one player as well. Unfortunately, you can't play two-player story mode. That would be pretty cool. Um, yeah. In this video, I'll show you the first tiny little boss battle and I'll bring it round to there and then I'll probably stop it and just see if you want to uh, try the trailer or buy the game or what it's up to you um, I find it pretty it's pretty cool that you can play with two characters but they're joint so they're one character I've always thought that was well cool and Rare have made made a really good idea for that um, this is the fly pad uh, there you go the controls are quite hard to get used to especially if you have played this on N64 before because obviously the game's controller is completely different but um, it's you can still do all the same moves and everything like that it's like playing um, an N64 game on a computer it, you just got to get used to the controls and the controls that it says to do this and that and this isn't ri right because it's an N64 game. Yep, just splatted on the floor there. As you can see, enemies are quite easy to tackle and take down. And every time you kill an enemy, you um get a little bit of health, so that's always good. There's a few more characters in this game. Um, As you'll see, if I pick something new up, there's a guy, army guy guy like army squirrel or something like that that starts talking so he's a new character there's new boosts as you can see the trainers make you run really really fast like you would in sonic so and this one i think you got to find the right pad and you can stretch your legs to get to higher places unfortunately i don't want to spend ages just trying to do little quests side quests and i want to show you a bit of the main story mode so i'm just going through this Showing you from the new controls if you haven't completed the first one, and um, yeah, and show you the boss battle. As you can see, there's a bomb, and there you go. That's shooting the egg. So there's a lot more you can do with Kazooie because at the start of the first one it was mainly banjo you could play and attack. So it's pretty cool that you get more controls with both of them um, so this is the boss battle you see him at this guy in the first one, he's the enemy uh, Congo or something I think it is but he's uh, the witch's minion So, Klungo, sorry sorry about that guys, someone called <laughs> You see, that kind of happens in real life, doesn't it? Oh well. Um, yep, there's the boss battle as you can see. And they're just talking it out.
Don't worry, you'll see some ac some action in a minute. And here we go. All right. Yep. Kind of got flat in there. You got. It's quite hard to flip between Kazooie and Banjo. Sorry, Banjo and Kazooie with the controls because you have to hit both triggers to run with them. It's a bit irritating. So you'll see here that I get beaten the hell out of pretty quickly. <laughs> Especially if you think he's really big right now or he's got a shield on him right now. How am I supposed to defeat him? I'll show you in a bit. <laughs> I got quite confused about this one the first time I played it as well. It just reminds me of um, Spyro 2, the enemies in Spyro 2. If you ever played that game, look the same pretty much. Spyro is a good game. I'm pretty sure if you like the Spyro games, you'll like this game. Or any of them, like I said in the last video. If you like Crash Bandicoot, if you like Spyro, if you like Croc, if you ever played that game. Or there was Blink something, Blink's the Cat on the Xbox original. Um, Rayman, obviously. Any of these kind of games, you'll enjoy this game. Family fun game. Unfortunately, as I said, it's only one player, apart from on a mini game. He's got so many potions. <laughs> run quick, run, run, run. Choose next. Yes. Last hit I was on when I managed to defeat him. As you can see, once you work out the kinks in defeating the boss, it's easy as pie. bit of hard talking. <laughs> Scare him a little. Oh, I love the N64 so much. I mean, the games that was on, was on there, it's crazy. F-Zero, to be honest, the reason why I got GameCube was because of the N64, and that was probably the best console out of the three genera that, that generation. Uh, I didn't really take fond of the Wii too much, because 360 came out, and I was like, hey, this is pretty cool. Arcade games, all that lot, that was pretty cool. And that was the new kind of thing. But now the Wii U's come out, I'm, I bought one, and it's fantastic. I mean, I've got six games... Pikmin 3 is uh, amazing. And um, Scribble Notes is pretty cool. So I'll try that out. If you have a, if you can even play it on computer. And then the, obviously the multiplayer for any Nintendo console is amazing. I know I shouldn't really be saying this because it's this is an arcade game for an Xbox 360. But it generates from the Nintendo. Can't go wrong with a Nintendo game. Well, kind of. So these guys, you collect them in the first game as well. So they've still got the main collectibles. I haven't seen any notes in this yet, like you did in the first one. But I'm sure you will get them soon. You get puzzle pieces and that lot as well. What was I doing there? <laughs> Just forgot I was playing for a second, I think. Mm, missed it. It's quite hard to control with Kazooie running around. Nope, all empty. I don't know why I checked that after he said. Nope, they're all gone. Come to my throne. And check this out. Check this little trap thing. It looks like a... Oh, no, it's not. That's the guy I was talking about, the army squirrel or whatever it is. I kept away from that before because I thought it was a bomb or something. Oh. oh. Come on, where is this place? Uh, 100 eggs. It's quite easy to collect your eggs back and your health back and this and stuff like that. It's not like, oh great, I'm nearly dead. 
I'm not going to find anything. I might as well just give up, like on a lot of games. And here's the main mission for this area. Which I find is pretty interesting, I guess. I love Kazooie so much, though. He's such a bad mouth and git. It's so funny. Especially for a kid's game. He's just cheeky as hell. Is that a pet prawn or something? It's a bit weird. Is that a prawn or a shrimp or... Oh, it's got a really long floppy nose though. Jiggly who? Jiggly what? Jiggly puff. That's what they're talking about. <laughs> nah. Mixing games up here. Same kind of um company there. Nintendo again. Ah. And there it is. The entrance to the next area. So what I'll do is I'll leave you with this video and hope you enjoy it. If you want to put a like on it, put a like on it. If you want to put a comment on it, put a comment on it. As usual, this is Under Care Bear. And I'll see you in the next video of Game Library. Part 7, I think? I'm getting quite far into this now. <laughs> okay, see you later, guys. Ouch.